Hello all. Today we will discuss about your XML file. I'm sure many of you who are working on orders are, are aware of your XML file. Uh, but sometimes uh, for the people who are new to Autos, they might be wondering what is this RXML file and there are so so many configuration parameters like uh, the ports, interfaces, uh, I signals, uh, COM signals, COM signal groups. Okay, so these uh, several parameters are uh, distributed across RXML files. So what kind of data goes into which type of RXML files? So that is a bit uh, uh, confusing in the beginning, of course, as you uh, Keep working on orders or the uh, parameters get cleared for you but yeah so i wanted to give a brief uh, introduction to the rxml files and the types of rxml files that are available in not okay let's get started so initially what is the definition of an rxml file so all of you know what is an xml file normal xml files it is nothing but just a data base uh, that stores the data in form of tags and text and you have RXML file. So RXML file is the AutoSAR XML file, which is uh, uh, introduced by a AutoSAR consortium. This is basically a database of AutoSAR configuration parameters. So that is RXML file. And how many types of RXML files are available for us? Based on the data that is uh, represented in a file, so the uh, mm, RXML files can be classified into five types basically so one of them is system configuration file ec extract ec configuration software component description and bsw model description so now we'll just briefly see what type of data goes into each rxml file firstly the system configuration file system configuration file contains information of multiple ecus it contains the messages signals sent and received by the ecus in a network and ports and interfaces of software component across ECUs. So if you see in the image, the system configuration is uh, basically represented as a, a network of ECUs. So the system configuration file contains the information. That means the messages, signals, or the components present on each ECU are represented in the system configuration file. Okay, so you can remember that the system configuration contains the information of a group of ecus okay then the ec extract so in the previous slide you have seen the group of ecus so ecu1 ecu2 ecu3 okay so when it comes to ec extract the ec extract is a part of the system configuration file okay when the oems prepare the system configuration they will prepare the database for multiple issues and when it goes to the tier one so who is responsible for a single issue the system extract the system configuration is categorized or it is broken down into a particular issues so for ec1 there will be one ec extract ec2 there will be one ec extract and ec3 will be one is uh, one ec extract okay what it contains so basically ec extract contains the messages and signals sent and received by a single issue and also it contains the port and interfaces belonging to a single ECU. That is ECU extract. So you can uh, uh, think like ECU extract is a subset of a system configuration. Then what is the type of third type of the ECU configuration? So we have ECU configuration, which is the third type of RXML file. So what does ECU configuration contain? So it contains configuration parameters of BSW modules as specified in AutoSAR SWS. This is very module specific configuration. User can edit the configuration and generate the modules. Okay. As per AutoSAR methodology, when you take a AutoSAR tool chain, we import the ease extract. So the ease extract is the input for the AutoSAR tool chain. And after the harmonization process, this the tool chain provides you the easy configuration. So what happens here is basically the parameters which are available in ECU extract are extracted and put into the base placeholders of the module specific autosar configuration parameters right so the autosar uh, tool chain does this for you so that it takes the easy extract as input imports it to the tool chain and provides the configuration easy configuration as an output so you can see uh, you would have seen the easy configuration like a car module pd or can if can 
DCM, ECM, BSW. So these are all the modules specific configuration that are part of EC configuration. Okay, so next we'll see the fourth type of uh, the configuration file, which is software component description. Software component description file is a specific to a software component. So earlier while discussing about system configuration, I have told that uh, uh, the system configuration contains the information of ports and interfaces as well. So sometimes what happens is uh, there could be some OEM specific software components or tier one specific software components which they want to reuse so that uh, they are not included or not part of either easy extractor system configuration. Okay, so this software component description file is a separate atomic file. Okay, which will contain the ports, interfaces, runnable entities, internal behavior of a particular software component. Okay, so this software component description file does not contain a messages or signals, whereas easy extract and system configuration files will contain messages and signals so that is the difference uh, between software component description and EC extract then what is the fifth type of RxML file we have BSW model description file so BSW model description file is provided for every AutoSAR BSW module okay so this basically contains the configuration of the schedulable entities of a particular module say for example if you have com module so it has com main function read com main function write as its main function so these are called nothing but the bsw schedulable entities so if you have to schedule the schedulable entity so that needs a bsw module to be bsw module description to be configured also there are uh, certain configuration parameters like requested and provided mode groups this also go into bsw model descriptions okay so now we have seen five types of uh, description files okay so one is system configuration one is uh, uh, ec extract next is ec configuration and fourth is software component description and the fifth one is bsw model description file and also we have seen what is that data that each module or each rxml file carries now let us see what is the kind of data or what is the difference in the uh, data that is held by each configuration file okay so if you can see here the system configuration ec extract software component description bsw md contain configuration parameters like system signal high signal frames i signal ipdu software components runnable entities events send receiver interface client server interface mode switch interface so these are all the parameters or the containers which are part of the four types of air xml files okay and if you see the ec configuration file in the ec configuration file you will see the configuration of bsw modules like com pdr canif ecm dcm nvm so on like uh, oh, 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 there are so many autos modules right so all the information is part of ec configuration and what is the type of the data that you see here is com signal com signal group pdr routing path ecm general can i forex pdu dcm dsd service table nvm block descriptor so this is these are the examples but there are so many configuration parameters okay so i just wanted to give uh, some examples of it so why i'm giving this here uh, saying the differences because there are two categories of the configurations that you do in the AutoSAR. One is the EC configuration, which is relevant only for the BSW modules. And wherein the first set of configuration, that is system configuration, EC extract, software component description, BSW MD description. So these configuration parameters are required by the RT generation and above RT like application software components service software components and all so if you see some tools change okay so from bsw vendors there would be usually two types of tools okay so one is to perform the ec configuration and the other is to perform the system configuration and there could be some tools which are synchronizing uh, uh, the uh, both types of configurations 
okay uh, so uh, this is the main difference or uh, we could say the two main categories of representation of the uh, data in the arxml files okay so i hope uh, 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 this uh, information was helpful for you if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions please uh, leave in the comments below and if you want to know further topics you can also mention in the comments i will try to make a ppt of that and uh, yeah let's uh, meet in the next session thank you